The controversy surrounding the quality of care our veterans are getting across the country created a firestorm in the wake of reports that scores of veterans died simply waiting for medical treatment. So what happened to the urgency about getting something done? Joining us now, Republican Senator Johnny Isaacson, a member of the Veterans Affairs Committee. Senator, welcome. Good afternoon, Shannon. Good to be with you. All right, so I know there's a lot of negotiating going on behind the scenes. There's a Senate version of a bill meant to address this issue, a House version of the bill. Um, but my understanding is that the last meeting that there was, only one Democrat showed up. Uh, clearly, Senator Bernie Sanders not happy about what the House GOP has cooked up. Is there any way to put all of that aside and do something for our vets? There is, and I, it would be professional malpractice for us to leave in August and not get this done. We're getting close. There are negotiations going on now. As in most fights in Washington, it's all about the money and who pays for it. But we are getting a lot closer, and I think we'll get it done. All right. Uh, Sanders, Senator Sanders, uh, your colleague across the aisle, says we don't need more speeches and posturing. We need serious negotiations 24-7 if necessary to resolve our differences in order to pass critical legislation. My guess is you would agree with exactly what he said. So how does that actually play out and happen and get done? Well, in the end, the leaders of both parties in the committee, the ranking member and the chairman from the Republican and the Democratic Party, the big four as they're called, have to ultimately make that happen. We've made some progress. Our differences are not as great as they were. The biggest argument is over whether it's emergency spending or whether it's appropriated in regular order. We're getting a closer to a House version, that, and the House is getting closer to the Senate version, which would not declare it as uh, emergency funding, would have it appropriated funding, which would be best for the country and the right way to run the railroad. Would you think it helpful for the president to get more directly involved in this particular issue in negotiation? Uh, you know, some say he gets involved, it looks too politicized. Uh, others say, you know, he adds the weight of the presidency to this conversation if he steps in. I can't think of any issue, the life and health of our veterans, that isn't more important than this. And I think the president should be engaged and should stay in Washington and work on it. We've got a lot of problems. But our veterans deserve our foremost and our focused attention. And every one of us, Republican, Democrat, Senator, Re House of Representatives, or President of the United States should be focusing on it. Uh, what do you think is the, have you taken the temperature of your colleagues? I mean, what do you think the appetite is for staying here in Washington and getting something done? I, for one, would stay until the VA bill's done. The border situation is going to be another problem entirely. But the VA deal is a problem we know exists. We've got it. Mr. McDonald's going to be the new secretary. He's going to be confirmed on Tuesday. He needs to have a bill to work with to go straight into the Veterans Administration and fix the problems, which means starting with firing those who caused the problems to begin with, and second, enabling veterans to have choice between private care and VA care, and making sure that we have authority at the top to run the VA like a business. I want to quickly ask you, what's your level of confidence that Robert McDonald, the nominee uh, who should be confirmed this week, or anyone else can actually go in and change this entire culture? When I heard his speech at the confirmation hearing, his five-minute opening remarks, I knew we had the right man. He's run a large company, Procter & Gamble. He's had 120,000 employees under him. He knows the metrics that you have to measure performance by, and he's proven in the past he's tough and understands the consumer. He knows his consumer or the veterans. He himself is a veteran and a graduate of West Point. Robert McDonald will be the right man for the right time. Well, we hope that he has the tools he needs to get that work done. Senator, um, we'll just uh, keep with you on this as uh, things hopefully move forward, and, and hopefully that's quickly. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Shannon.